are back, getting ready to go green. Pace car took him around another lap. Coming to the green flag. Green flag is out, and we are underway for the driver COPD 300 at Daytona. I think that's the scariest part of this crash. I don't know if we got a better angle. We do. Oh, man, I don't know if this way either. Look at Tony's car just get up on the wall. And now watch as soon as the back end hits the fence. You see Car Edwards' car's in the air. Watch as soon as Tony's car hits the fence. How Kozlowski's car just launches. Tony's in the fence. Watch the car come off the fence into Kozlowski. Oh, Kozlowski got hit from behind. But watch Tony's rear end of the car. It just catches Kozlowski and it just tipped him over. Reed Sorensen flipping in this. And we're going frame by frame, guys. Stewart's flipping. Oh, look at Ricky Stenhouse. Somebody hit Ricky Stenhouse. His car's going to tumble. Oh, don't go in the fence. Please don't go in the fence here. Oh, he's going to land on somebody. Oh, he lands on Braun Scott. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Sten look at Stenhouse's car. It's over the fence, folks. Oh, he's going to hit the fence. No, it's going to land on the pavement. Yikes. That's over half the field, guys. We got a camera up on the spot and stand. It's not going to be a bird's eye view, but I would love to see what that camera comes. Man, you can just see all that just breaking down. We're going to try to get you a better angle of it. Got an 
on board on Tommy. Nationwide, the Nationwide series did go to the safer car. Now watch. You just see Stewart's car get launched in the air. There's Sorensen's car. Just look at Stewart's. Mm, man. And then Danica gets hit again by a couple cars. Oh. Man, that would have to be a bad day on a 500. Or uh, driver CLP D 300 for Danica. Her first Nationwide star. And and possibly in one of the worst crashes in NASCAR history right here. Watch this from Kyle Busch. Reed's got a camera. Apparently, Reed's got a, uh, a front bumper cam. I don't know how much we're going to see out of this. hearing you can see right there something flies or I don't know so it looks like something might have flew into the car no, it looks like it's alright so let's go forward get the air here oh that are out. 22 cars on the track. Cars that are out. Stephen Wallace, Brian Scott, Danica Patrick, Tim George, Morgan Shepard, Kyle Bush, Carl Edwards, Mike Bliss. Yeah, Mike Bliss. Jason Leffler, Allgaier, Ryan Truex, uh, 
Reed Sorensen, Brad Keselowski, Tony Stewart, David Strimmy, Ricky Stenhouse, Blake Koch, the 13, I think that's Jennifer Jo Cobb, uh, Jennifer Jo Cobb, Timmy Hill, and Eric McClure, all out of the drive for COPD 300. To the lead, Mar uh, Marcus Ambrose going to the point in that new Richard Petty Motorsports forward. Right now, the top ten are pulling away from everybody else, and I think it's because everyone else has got some a little bit of damage. There's Kevin Conway, Wendell, Kenny Wallace, they got a lot of damage. David Starr, Joe Nemechek, Derek Cope, Josh Wise, and Scott Wimmer. As David Brudeman goes to the lead here. And a lot of these guys up here are not cup guys. Landon Castle, he can get the nationwide points. Uh, Eric Amarola, Scott, uh, Sam Hornish is getting on. Uh, Trevor Bain and Elliot and Elliot Sadler. So is Mike Wallace, Clements, uh, Busher, Annette, Conway, Schwindel, Starr, Wallace, Nemechek, Cope, Scott Wimmer, Josh Wise. They're all getting Nationwide Series points. Menard, Junior, Rudiman are not. Neither is Ambrose. Right now they're just pushing. Amarola pushing. Paul Menard to the lead here at Daytona. I think it's only... I think it's only, yeah, it's only the top ten in this lead group. You don't really need to be doing anything stupid to wipe you guys out. That would be weird, but... Amarola tucked up on a weird angle. Ooh, and yeah, I think Menard knew he was going to get turned if he didn't go up. And he's going to get up in there in the Sprint Cup Series lane. <laughs> As I like to call it. Look at the Gano go behind Eric Amarola. Stewart, Keselowski, Sorensen, and Carl Edwards all taken to the infield care center. We'll let you know if they get ch uh, checked and released. When we do, everyone else so far from the crash has been checked and released from the infield care center. Danica Patrick and her first or her, uh, her first nationwide race. Like I said, it was her first nationwide race. She did run a couple last season. This is her first attempt at possibly running full-time. That was that team's goal. If they could get a good finish here at Daytona, they would run full-time. In 2011, she would skip out IndyCar. But it looks like since this finish here, she's going to possibly go back to IndyCar as Junior pushes Logano to lead. Now Junior going to ditch and go to the bottom and possibly take the lead. That five Junior Motorsports Chevrolet. That five car is not going to be running a lot this season. I think the emphasis in Junior Motorsports is to lock the seven in for next season. So Danica is not a go or go homer. Because owner points count. Finishing owner points. Driver points is different. Driver points only, only nationwide drivers get points. Owner points, all the cars get points. So, right now, owner points is what, what this is going to be. We're over halfway now. 10 cars, 11 cars, because here comes Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace says, You guys just keep racing hard up here. I'm just going to catch up and uh, also make myself a contender in this. Jeremy Clements probably wishes he could get up there. But a 12th place for this team, that's a, that's a great that's a great accomplishment for Jeremy Clements if he gets 12th place here at Daytona. And it's a great accomplishment for a lot of these teams. Kevin Conway, that's a Nimco Motorsports car, doesn't have a lot of funding. Uh, Jimmy Means right here, Jimmy Means racing with uh, Sh Schwindel. Or Schwindel, I don't know how to say that name. Is in 16th. Kenny Wallace for RAB. Uh, Joe Nemechek for his own team, Derek Cope, um, David Starr, Scott Wimmer, Josh Wise, all these cars, they're going to get good finishes here today, top 20 for a lot of them, and that'll be the only top 20 they'll get the whole season. 
just because of the big one. Logano tries to throw up the block on Ambrose. It's a little sideways. Doing it. Trevor Bain up here now. Trevor Bain's been really quiet, just riding around, minding his business. We seen him in the duels on Thursday. He was in duel two. I think he was involved in a big crash that happened in duel number two. Nothing as big as what happened today. Right now. Ooh, look, I don't know. Actually, Junior. Junior, try to go to the middle. Ambrose throws the block. Junior working with his teammate up there. Tony Stewart, Carl Edwards, and Reed Sorensen have been checked and released from the Yankeeville Care Center. Stewart says he's a little sore, but he will be in the running for the Daytona 500 tomorrow. So that's good to hear. Everybody involved in the crash has been checked and released from the infield care center as Marcus Ambrose leads here at Daytona. I'm surprised that fence didn't get more damage. We we didn't go. You know, the officials never went and looked at it. I think because they have an official that's somewhere right near the fence that looks loose. It's right there at the flag stand and he's there to protect the flagman from a fan running up on the thing, but Plus, I think NASCAR has their security here at the track, and I think they went and looked at it and just told NASCAR officials that it was fine. They didn't see any big damage to the fence. What was scary was how high Ricky Stenhouse's car got. Junior's going to try to get down here in front of Logano. So he's going to make it three wide. Logano's going to make it three wide. Three wide for the lead. As you can see, Castle pushing Amarola. Oh, almost contact. Amarola going to the middle trying to. I don't know if he was trying to. I think maybe maybe Castle got him on that side there a little bit and got him sideways. Castle's still pushing him. And Mike Wallace is up here now. So that's now 11 cars under a blanket. 11 cars battling it out to see who would win the first NASCAR nationwide drive for COPD 300. Junior stuck three wide in between Trevor Bain and his teammate. He's pushing Joey Logano. Trying to get Logano by Ambrose. Menard is shoving Trevor Bain. Man, that 88 car is getting loose up on the top. Mike Wallace is pushing Sam Hornish. To the middle goes Landon Castle with Junior. They're catching. They're going to catch some slow cars. Slow cars might be in the way. Trevor Bain getting a huge push from Paul Menard. What would it be for Trevor Bain to win a NASCAR Nationwide Series race? Was so close in 2010. Finished second for Michael Waltrip Racing. Now has a shot to win the driver COPD. Cars are in the middle. Grew slow. Menard and Bain are pulling away. Coming to three to go, Menard and Trevor Bain have pulled away. Logano and Junior are stuck behind the slow cars with Josh Wise and Scott Wimmer. Paul Menard going to the lead on Trevor Bain. Paul Menard might win at Daytona. His father has wanted to win at Indy for so long. What if Paul gets a Daytona trophy? I think the rest of the field have gotten by. No, they haven't. The two and the five are stuck behind still the 40 and the 39. Coming to two to go. And these three are going to battle for third. Coming to two to go. Paul Menard leads Trevor Bain. And you have three cars back here, and then you have the rest of the pack who are going to try to catch up. And they might catch. They might catch more lap traffic too. This three wide back here is not really helping. 
it's probably helping Logano and these guys catch back up. Actually. And it's double file for the lead. Trevor Bain to the lead. Under Paul Menard. Coming to the white flag. Here comes Rudeman. I don't think the second pack's going to catch. Trevor Bain to the lead. Sam Hornish trying to push Rudeman now. Hornish goes to the bottom. It's three wide for second. Mike Wallace pushing Palmenard on the top. Trevor Bain's going to go up and throw the block on Menard. Knowing Menard is probably the, the strongest car right now. Menard is good. Uh, I don't know. Bain, you better block every lane you can, buddy. I don't think we're going to have to get the photo finish cam out for this one unless something crazy happens. Coming down the front straight away. Actually, never mind. Get that photo finish cam ready. D Trevor Bain wins. And I do not know why, but it looked like David Rudeman caught the wall. David Rudeman, I'm not going to say he did it, but it looked like he had the run of all runs right here to win this thing. It, it looked like he he's in the wall here. We got an onboard on this car? Good run, he's getting run, 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 run. Now he's in the fence. Man, that slowed him down a lot too. Let's see. You see Bane not really up to speed. And when he just popped the wall there, it just gave Bane all the momentum he needed to keep on chugging. Trevor Bane wins the drive for COPD 300. Then it's David Rudeman, Paul Menard, Mike Wallace, Sam Hornish, Landon Castle, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Joey Logano, Ambrose, Amarola, Sadler, Clements, Annette, Conway, Busher, Schwindel, Starr, Nemechek, Cope, Wallace, Wise, Wimmer, Wallace, uh, Stephen Wallace, Brian Scott, Danica Patrick, Tim George Jr., Morgan Shepard, uh, Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards, Mike Bliss, Jason Leffler, Justin Allgaier, Ryan Truex, Reed Sorensen, Brad Kozlowski, uh, Tony Stewart, David Strimmey, Ricky Stenhouse, Blake Koch, Jennifer Joe Cobb, Timmy Hill, and Eric McClure. That is your finishing order, guys. Thanks for watching. Get ready, because tomorrow it's the Great American Race, the Daytona 500. Everything's set. All the drivers are ready. Who is going to win at Daytona? We'll find out tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Trevor Bain, get ready to do some burnouts for us. Winner in Daytona. He's in the grass. I mean, this kid ain't won a lot. I guess he don't know how to... There you go. You gotta burn him down. He doesn't know how to do burnouts. Trying to listen to him on the radio. I think he said he broke, broke first gear trying to do burnouts. Oh, he got the wall a little bit. It's alright. The car's already been through post-race. They know it's clean. He goes, there is roasting them rear tires. I think he's driving backwards. I guess he thinks that's what you gotta go through this wall back here. For real. No, he's gonna go through the grass again and have a little more fun in the grass. Trevor Bain, winner of the drive for COPD 300. Oh, that was a harder hit in the wall. Trevor Bain, winner of the drive for COPD 300. Look at him, he's still having a lot of fun. Trevor Bain. He can win. He can win the 500 tomorrow. He's in, he's in it. He qualified. He's locked in. This NESN Ford Mustang. Look at him turning in, turning in, turning in. Get him in here. Line him up. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Right on the board. Now he's revving it up. Right there because his crew. Right there. Congratulations, Trevor Bain, on winning the drive for COPD 300, and tomorrow's his birthday. Can't believe it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for the Great American Race, the Daytona 500.